If in May 2025, one country, either India or Pakistan, had a fifth-generation fighter jet, you know what would have happened. The result would have been completely one-sided. The side with the fifth-generation jet would have dominated the skies, controlled the battlefield, and undoubtedly won the war. That's why, right now, fifth-generation jets are the future of warfare, and the country that gets them first, India or Pakistan, will have a massive upper hand in any future conflict. Considering how important air power is in the ongoing tensions, India's Ministry of Defense is now moving ahead with the development of its own fifth-generation stealth fighter. They've invited companies to submit prototypes and are kick-starting the program. But here's the question. Will India get fifth-generation jets before Pakistan by building its own or buying from abroad, like the F-35 or Su-57? So, what sets a fifth-generation fighter jet apart from the current fleets of India and Pakistan? First and foremost, it's all about stealth. These jets are designed to be nearly invisible to enemy radar, making them extremely hard to detect. Then, there's super crews. They can fly faster than the speed of sound without relying on fuel-hungry afterburners, giving them speed and efficiency at the same time. They also come equipped with cutting-edge sensors, allowing them to detect enemy aircraft long before being seen themselves. With data fusion technology, these jets combine information from satellites, drones, and radars to give pilots a complete, real-time picture of the battlefield. And finally, they offer superior agility and onboard AI, making them smarter, faster, and deadlier Compare that to the 4.5 generation jets currently used by both India and Pakistan, like India's Rafale and the upgraded Su-30 MKI, and Pakistan's JF-17 Block 3 J-10C and F-16 Block 52. Sure, these jets are powerful, but if either country had a fifth generation fighter during the recent skirmishes, the balance would have shifted massively. India has now taken a step toward developing its own fifth-generation aircraft. India's new project is led by Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, working with HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and private giants like Tatar Advanced Systems. This jet is called the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, a twin-engine, single-seat stealth beast. So what's the plan? The government has set aside $1.8 billion just to build the first versions of its own fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. The goal is to make the first prototype by 2028. And if everything goes well, start making them in large numbers by 2035. With at least 120 jets planned. Sounds great, right? But there are some challenges ahead. India still doesn't have its own engine for fighter jets. The HAL Tejas, India's domestically developed aircraft, currently relies on American-made engines. India had previously attempted to co-develop an engine with US assistance, but those talks have stalled, potentially delaying India's engine development program. Another major challenge is funding. Developing fifth-generation stealth fighters is extremely expensive. While India is a major global economy, it must carefully balance defense spending to avoid compromising other critical military projects, especially at a time when tensions with neighboring countries remain high. Another hurdle is the developer itself. How the company building the jet, is known for slow progress. If things don't go as planned, the entire project could be delayed beyond 2035. So the big question is, can India really wait that long? India currently relies on 4.5 generation Rafale fighters and is upgrading its Su-30 MKI fleet to 4.5 generation standards. Additionally, work is underway to introduce the Tejas MK-1A, which will incorporate 4.5 generation capabilities. But the problem is clear. None of these are fifth generation. And if Pakistan gets stealth jets first, 
India's edge could vanish overnight. This is why India is also looking at quick foreign options like to acquire F-35 or Su-57. The F-35 is no doubt the best stealth jet in the world, but it's extremely expensive. For India, each jet could cost around 100 to 110 million dollars, and that's just the purchase price. Operating it is also costly. It could cost around 30 lakh rupees per hour to fly. On top of that, it needs a separate and complex maintenance system, which adds even more expense. On the other hand, the Su-57 is cheaper, and while it's not as stealthy as the F-35, it's easier to buy, available faster, and comes with fewer restrictions. The problem is that India needs over 100 fifth-generation aircraft to compete with not just Pakistan, but also China. It's highly unlikely India would purchase F-35s, especially in large numbers, due to the prohibitive costs and technology transfer issues. However, India might go for a smaller purchase of 36 to 50 jets for special missions if the strategic situation changes dramatically. Alternatively, India could choose a bigger deal with the Su-57, first buying 50 to 70 ready-made jets and later building another 100 to 150 in India, aiming for a total of 150 to 220 jets in the long run. The problem is that acquiring fifth-generation jets from abroad could cost India around 5 to 15 billion dollars with an additional 30 to 60 billion dollars in life cycle costs over 30 to 40 years. This makes it extremely expensive and could hurt the Make in India program, potentially slowing down the AMCA project due to the high costs and divided focus. On the other hand, Pakistan is reportedly eyeing China's J-35 stealth fighter, expected to be operational by 2029 to 2030. Pakistan could acquire around 50 to 70 units by the early 2030. Pakistan is also exploring Turkey's upcoming Khan fifth-generation jet, which is set to roll out around the same time. If Pakistan joins the program or becomes a customer, that could be another path to fifth-generation capability. The cost of acquiring 50 to 70 J-35 or Khan jets may be around 5 to 7 billion dollars a big number for Pakistan's limited defense budget. But thanks to strong defense ties with China and Turkey, Pakistan might benefit from long-term payment plans, joint production, or tech transfer deals, making access to fifth-generation jets more feasible. India's plan to build its own fifth-generation fighter will definitely boost its aerospace and defense industry in the long run. But the problem is, it will take time. So, India may not get fifth-generation jets early through the AMCA program. That's why it might consider buying from abroad, like the F-35 or Su-57. But here's the twist. Russia hasn't yet started large-scale production of the Su-57. It's currently producing only around 6 to 12 units per year for its own air force and plans to build just 76 units by 2028. That means Russia can't supply a large number of Su-57s to India anytime soon. Russia has offered India the option of licensed production of the Su-57, possibly using the existing Su-30 MKI infrastructure but setting up a local production line for such an advanced fifth-generation fighter is not easy. It would require major upgrades and time. Even after production begins, it could take over 10 years to reach significant numbers. At best, India might receive a smaller batch of 20 to 50 Su-57s by the early 2030. But a larger fleet, over 100 jets, is unlikely to be available before the late 2030s. If India wants to buy F-35s, it would take a long and complicated negotiation. The earliest deliveries might happen in the late 2020s for a small number of jets, but realistically, it would be the early 2030s. And definitely not 100 plus jets in that time. On the other hand, 
Pakistan's main fifth-generation option, the J-35, is in testing and early production. Its design is mature enough for export, and China is reportedly planning to deliver the first batch of 30 jets to Pakistan by early 2026. Pakistani pilots are already training in China. Pakistan could gain access to the initial production units, bypassing China's typical rollout schedule, similar to how China delivered early JF-17s to Pakistan. The full fleet of 50 to 70 J-35s could arrive by the late 2020s. Meanwhile, Turkey's Khan fighter is still in the prototype stage. Full production may start around 2029. If Pakistan joins the program, it could get 50 to 70 units in the early to mid-2030, after Turkey meets its own needs. In short, Pakistan is highly likely to acquire its initial batch of fifth-generation fighters, J-35, within the next one to two years, significantly earlier than India. As Pakistan would receive early versions of the J-35 or Khan, they may only have basic fifth-generation capabilities but might lack features like advanced sensor fusion. However, they would still be more advanced than 4.5-generation fighters and could be upgraded or customized over time. At this point, it is too early to compare their features with the fifth-generation fighter that India may acquire. Meanwhile, India is unlikely to receive even a small batch of fifth-generation jets before the late 2020s. A full fleet of over 100 aircraft may only be possible after 2035, and domestic production could take even longer time.